Ready na ba ako mag-online classes? Hindi. Hi guys! I'm Bianca and this is Pasiyan Techie Series. Shring! So yun, malapit na nga ang classes and physical classes are not advisable because of our current situation right now. Kasi naman, di ba? Yung cases natin. Pataas siya ng pataas araw-araw. Okay. That's why we will be attending school through online classes. And for today, I will show you guys an online learning platform that will be useful for our online classes. And it is called Edmodo. Edmodo is a free social learning platform for teachers, students, parents, and school administrators. It is an educational website that takes the ideas of a social network and refines them and makes it appropriate for a classroom. Using Edmodo, students and teachers can reach out to one another and connect by sharing ideas, problems, and helpful tips. In Edmodo, teachers can create classes, groups, and small groups. They can also invite their students using a code or a link. They can easily post and manage their class to stay connected with their students. Creating digital assignments and quizzes is also possible with the help of Edmodo. So for today, I will show you guys a short tutorial about Edmodo using the student account because yung audiences ko are mainly students. That's why. So, without further ado, let's get started. Char. Ah, oh my god. So ayun guys, let's get started with the video. <clears throat> so ayun, you can download the Edmodo app in the App Store or in the Play Store. Or pwede rin kayong pumunta sa Google and type edmodo.com. So as you can see right here. So you can go to sign up and then click the student account. So right here you will see the class or school code. So yung teachers nyo may bibigay na 6 character code. And then, yun yung gagamitin nyo para maka-join sa class nila. Okay? So, kunyari, ito yung binigay na code ng teacher mo. So, kunyari, ayan. So, after the school code, you need to have a unique username. So, lagyan natin ang example dito. Okay, kunyari, okay, ito. Kunyari yung username natin, sample student PCSHS. Siyempre, example lang yan, example lang. <laughs> So, you have the option to enter your email. So, for now, hindi ko na muna ilalagay. And then, you should have a strong password. Huwag niyong gayahin yung akin na weak password lang. Kasi, example lang naman to. So, yung kailangan yung password is strong enough to secure your account. So, you need to complete your profile. Kailangan yung ilagay yung first name nyo and then yung last name. So, for example, ayan. Uh, ano bang pangalan? Ano bang pwedeng pangalan? Pangalan? <laughs> okay. For example, ayan, pasiyan yay. Kasi wala nang maiisip na pangalan. Ayan. So, kailangan nyo ilagay yung birth date nyo. So, example dito is January 1, 2003. And then, you should click done. Kung may makikita kayo dito ang account safety, so, kailangan nilagay yung contact information ng parents nyo. So, you have the option to input their mobile number or their email. Pero pwede nyo rin naman i-skip. So, for now, i-skip ko na lang muna. So, hintayin lang natin mag-load. And then, you will be taken to your Edmodo dashboard. So, in here, makikita nyo agad yung mga posts, announcements, and quizzes from your teachers. So, this is what it looks like. So, here in the upper left, you will see your username. Ay, Char! Oh my God, username. So, right here in the upper left, you will see your name. So, ayan pangalan natin. Pasiyan, yay! <laughs> Parang... So, ayan. Diyan yung makikita. And below your name, makikita nyo yung my classes, my groups, and my parents. So, may makikita ko yung code. And pwede nyo, ilag pwede nyo itong ibigay sa parents nyo para makagawa rin sila ng Edmodo account. Because here in Edmodo, um, 
parents can connect to their children using the parent code. So, makikita ng mga parents yung different posts, announcements made by the teacher so that they can also help their children to keep in track. And lastly, the parents can also send direct messages to the children's teacher if ever they have questions or concerns regarding their children's performance. So that's it for the parent code. So here in the upper right corner, you can click your profile and you can edit your personal information and you can also change your profile picture but okay na ko dyan. Okay na ako sa profile picture na yan. So it is up to you if you want to personalize your profile and add more information to it. So here in the profile, you can see the activities and progress. So here in the activity section, you can see the posts and replies made by you. But for now, since sample lang naman to, wala pang progress yan. So here in the progress section, you will be updated from time to time whenever you take your quizzes or whenever you submit your assignments. But for now, since wala pa tayong progress, 0% pa lang yan. So, let's go back to the home page. So, right here, makikita nyo yung type your note here. So, you can attach any files or you can write any posts and send it to a certain group or class. So, the next section is here in classes. So, it's the same as earlier. Diba yung kanina sa home page, may nakalagay rin doon na classes. But, in here, makikita nyo yung different classes nyo and yung different progress nyo. So, yung different classes nyo here in class management, while yung progress nyo in each class, dun sa progress section. Okay? So, let's click biology. So, pag na-click nyo na yung biology dun sa classes, mapupunta kayo dun sa homepage ng biology class nyo. So, next naman, punta tayo dito sa planner. As you can see, dito nyo makikita yung upcoming tasks and events that you need to accomplish. So, the planner is important kasi makikita nyo dito yung mga upcoming activities na kailangan nyo tapusin. And it is really important when it comes to time management para hindi kayo mag-procrastinate. Nagsalita yung procrastinator. Oh my god! Also, here in Edmodo, we have the backpack. So, para lang siyang cloud storage system or Google Drive wherein you can add links and files of your homework and then you can access them everywhere. You can also link your Google Drive in here if you have a Gmail account. So when using Backpack, just click on New and then choose the file that you will be uploading to your Backpack. So there are other things here in Edmodo. So we have the Discover section wherein you can see different games and apps that you can try whenever you're bored or you just want to explore Edmodo. So for the last section na nakikita nyo dito sa taas, is the messages so in here you can direct message your teachers whenever you have questions clarifications or other concerns regarding their subject so let's go back to your home page and then makikita nyo dito yung parang bell which is the notifications so here in the notification sections you can see all of your notifications obviously Obvious naman. So, as of now, ito notifications ko, quiz 1 and homework 1, for example lang yan. And again, this is very useful whenever you want to be updated of the posts and announcements made by your teachers. So, lastly, here in the right side, you can see the upcoming. So, this is where the upcoming activities and events are located. Below the upcoming, you can see a small calendar and this is also the Edmodo Planner. So, this Edmodo Planner works like a calendar because of its setup. So, you can see the events that your teachers will post. So, you can either have it as a week view or a month view. It's all up to you. So, we're done. That's it, guys. So, that's basically it for today's video, guys. But before I end this video, I just want to remind everyone to stay safe at home. And if ever you are outside, don't forget to wear a mask. Um, have a safe distance between others and wash your hands and sanitize from time to time because it is better to be safe than sorry. Liwanag dito, di ba? Kaloka. So, ayun. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. So, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell down below para maging updated sa susunod na content ng Dapasian TV. That's it, guys. Bye! Promote mass testing.